Anil Kumar sharing with you another set of three questions. We are just practicing how to solve word problems and these word problems involve linear equations. You can always pause the video, copy these questions, solve and then look into my strategies. Question number one. Archana has two more quarters than dimes. In all, she has six dollars and eighty cents. How many of each kind of coin does she have? Question two. The sum of three odd consecutive integers is minus 39. Find the integers. Question number three. The cost of renting a car for three days and driving it 150 kilometers is dollar 111. The cost of renting the same car for four days and driving for 320 kilometers is $184. What is the daily rental cost and cost per kilometers? Okay. So when you solve these questions, you need to define variables. That's the first step. Then you do relate them and then solve if possible check. So that is a simple strategy which should be applied. So let's begin with the very first one, which is Urchina has two more quarters than dimes. So we're talking about quarters and dimes. So we'll say let Q be quarters. And D be dimes. So that is how we have defined our variables. We are saying let Q be quarters and D be dimes. And now let's try to answer. Quarters really means 25 cents, right? Quarters means 25 cents. And dimes means 10 cents. Okay. That gives you the value. So let's write down the equation now. Urchina has two more quarters than dimes. So quarters are more. So we have quarters equals to dimes plus two. So that is, we are saying Urchina has two more quarters than dimes. Do you see that? Two more. In all, she has value. So we are given value. Value means we are going to use this part. Okay. So the value is $680. So if Q is the quarters, then the value is 25 cents each. So 25 cents each for each quarter plus dimes is 10 cents. And the total value is $6.80. Do you get the idea? So that is how we get our relation. So we have related them. Now after this, we need single variable. So we'll do substitution to a single variable. So we started with two. Do you see that? These two variables. And now what we know is quarters are two times, two plus times. So we'll replace this quarters with d plus two. What do we get? We get 0 0.25 was in brackets instead of quarters I'm writing dimes d plus 2 and we have 0 0.10 dimes equals to 6.80 so what we get here is linear equation in one variable do you see only one variable let's solve now it's easy to solve open the bracket apply distributive property so you have to multiply this with both Perfect. Okay, so let's do it. So 0 0.25D plus 0 0.50 when you multiply with 2 plus 0 0.10D equals to 6.80. Is that clear? Combine like terms, dimes. So 0 0.25, 0 0.10 gives you 0 0.35 dimes. Plus, we have 0 0.50 equals to 6.80. Let's take it to the right side. We get 0 0.35 dimes equals to 6.80. Take away 0 
which is 6.30. Is it okay? Now I'll divide by 0.35. So times is equals to 6.30 divided by 0.35. So let's use the calculator. You can estimate also, right? 6.3 divided by 0.35 gives you 18. Correct? So we get 18 as the number of dimes. So if dimes is 18, how many quarters? Quarters is dimes plus 2, which is 18 plus 2, which is 20. Okay? So we have our answer that Urchina has 18 dimes and 20 quarters. Is that clear? You can at this stage check your answer also. So I like you to check. That is, if you do 18 dimes means 18 times 0 0.10 plus 20 times 0 0.25, do you get 6.80? You will, right? If not, then something wrong. Okay, so let's check it. So we have 18 times, sorry, 18 times 0 0.1 plus 20 times 0.25 equals 2. Decimal value is 6.8. Perfect. So this is absolutely right. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Let's continue with the second question now. Question number two. The sum of three odd consecutive integers is minus 39. Find the integers. Now what is the meaning of consecutive? which comes together. Now in this case, we have odd consecutive integers. Means, like uh, odd numbers coming together. Odd consecutive means like 3, 5, 7, 9 and so on. These are odd consecutive, any three. Perfect. So their differences, we see that the difference is of 2. Correct? The skip counting. Now the best way to take your numbers is kind of like this. Let the numbers be. So if I take n as my number, then the next number will be n plus 2. I can take n plus 4, but I can also take n minus 2 as my number. So I get three numbers. Do you see that? If you take n minus 2, n and n plus 2, it is simpler to solve. So I choose these three numbers. Now that's a key. So these are my three consecutive numbers. That is how I'm defining. Now let's work on the question. The sum of three odd consecutive integers is minus 39. That means when you add them up, n minus 2 plus n plus n plus 2 is minus 39. Is that clear? So n, 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 3n. Minus 2 plus 2 is 0. So we get 3n is minus 39. So n is minus 39 divided by 3. So we get n as minus 13. So what we get here is this value of n is minus 13. So what are the other numbers? So if you go on the left side, take away 2, you get minus 15, add 2, we get minus 11. Does it make sense? So we can now write down our answer. Integers are minus 15, minus 13, and minus 11. Perfect. Check it out add them. So let's check. So if you add them, you get minus 39. 1, 3, 4, and 5, 9, and 39. Do you see that? So this is the right answer. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Now let's take the last question here, which is, I hope you're learning as we move around. Now here is question number three for you. Question number three. 
the cost of renting a car for three days and driving it 150 kilometers is $111. The cost of renting the same car for four days and driving it 320 kilometers is $184. What is the daily rental cost and cost per kilometer? So this gives you variables. So what is the daily rental cost? So daily rental cost, let me call this as R. So R B daily rental cost and cost per kilometer, let's say K. So we have K as cost per kilometer. So we have defined a variable, we say let R be daily rental cost and K cost per kilometer. Okay. Now it says cost of renting a car for three days and driving it 150 kilometers is 111. So daily rental is R, so three days, so that means three times R plus and driving it 150 kilometers, so 150 kilometers K is 111. Do you see? For the second one, the cost of renting the same car for four days, so four rental days, plus kilometers is 320. So we get 320 kilometers, it is 184. So we get two equations. So from these two equations, you have to solve for R and K. Now, this involves slightly more knowledge of solving since we are dealing with fractions. Now, we could actually simplify the second equation, divide by 4. So what we will do here is to simplify, we could divide this by 4. So if I do that, I get R plus 320 divided by 4 is 80k equals to dividing by 4, 4 times 4 is 16, 24, 46. So we get this equation from where we can write what R is. So R daily rental cost is 46 minus 80k. You get an idea. So we have isolated one of our variables, which is R. Now we need to substitute this in equation one. So we're calling this equation one, two, and this we'll call as equation three. So I hope you understand this strategy. So we'll substitute R in the first equation. So we get three times 40 minus 80K plus 150K equals to 111, open the bracket, 120 minus 240k, 3 times 80, plus 150k equals to 111. Take the numbers together, right? So, so we have 240 and 150, that gives you minus 90, right? So minus 90k equals to 111 minus 120. And when you take away, you get negative 9. Okay? So K is negative 9 divided by negative 90, which is 1 over 10. Or the cost of renting in dollars is 10 cents. Do you see that? 10 cents. Point 0.1. You can now find what re daily rental cost is, that is R equals to 40 minus 80 times 0 0.1, which is 40 minus 8, so that gives you 32. So now we'll write down our answer. So the answer here is daily rental is $32. And per kilometer is 0 0.10 dollars, 0 0.10 per kilometer. Do you see that? So that is how you could actually solve such a question. 
So I hope the steps are clear. So this part is kind of critical here. Right, so you could sometimes simplify, write it like this, do substitution, get your answer. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you really like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. I'll advise you to watch some more videos on these word problems to really master the techniques. Thanks for watching and all the best.